please stop redoing this figure. I'm running out of truck-related jokes. Hello, my baby! Hello, my honey! Hello, my rag, my gal! Sunday, you kissed my wife! Baby, my heart's on fire! You didn't really think they'd have another Transformers line and not revamp this character, did you? After all, there's money to be made. Yes, it's Optimus Prime in Earthrise, this time as a leader-class figure. Though they seem to have pulled the trick of making the figure itself only Voyager size and throwing in enough accessory-related plastic to rationalize messing you over with a higher price tag. There isn't much to say about Optimus Prime that hasn't already been said. Heroic iconic leader of the Autobots, blah blah blah. Two all or one yakety schmackety. Freedom is the basic right of all. Here he is, bondage fetished into the package, with cool art off on the side panel, and all the figure pictures and accessories shown on the back, as well as how to connect him with other figures and playsets in the Earthrise line. On the slanty side panel, you are treated to a view of Optimus Prime with his long, gorilla-like arms. Uh, really, what did they do with his hand here compared to the wrist? Anywho, let us open the box and see if he is primed for this review. <laughs> Out of box, Earthrise leader Optimus Prime comes with an instruction booklet, a gray and black weapon accessory, a teeny tiny matrix of leadership accessory, and a semi-truck trailer accessory to attach to his back. According to the instruction booklet, Optimus Prime's stats are 10, 6, 10, 10, 9, 10, 10. Of course, they gave him 10 in just about everything. <laughs> the weapon accessory is hinged in the middle so it can be folded in half. This will allow you to store the weapon accessories on the truck in any one of several open 5mm ports. Although you can store it just as well when it's not folded up. Fancy that. You can use this port on the truck and this peg on the truck trailer to connect the trailer with the truck to attach the trailer for a full-on truck, although he's only a ten-wheeler. He rolls well on smooth surfaces, though some of the tires don't make contact as easily as others. When the truck is detached, there is a set of flip-down struts on the trailer that will keep it level. The trailer will split open and turn into a battle station, just like it did in Generation 1. It has eight open 5mm ports for plugging in all kinds of weaponry and accessories. That is, if you can find any that won't collide with the side walls. There are also three open ports on the bottom of the truck where you can also plug in additional weapons or just store some of your accessories there. This section here does flip down and turn into a ramp so that some cars can drive very steeply up inside the truck for storage. Although so far the only figure that I found that can actually fit in here is Earthrise Cliff Jump. This section of the ramp will also slide out and become Optimus Prime's shield in robot mode, and can also be held by any figure that uses a 5mm peg, which is pretty much every figure in Earthrise and Siege. Slide it back in using these tabs. At the opposite side of the trailer bay, there is this unfolding section which angles up and extends with three hinges. The turret up at the top will swivel on a mushroom peg. It will also tilt forwards and backwards on a hinge. Another hinge at the back will allow it to tilt further up and down. And a hinge at the base will also allow it to swivel up and down. The entire assembly will slide out of these pegs and use it as a plug inable weapon accessory for other figures. And of course it has these cute little claw arms at the front, which can be used for grabby grabby stuff, or to pretend like it's actually a repair bay that's helping to repair broken transformers. There are two 5mm ports at the front of the turret for attaching fire blast accessories, or weapon accessories if you can plug them in. And these two claw arms are ball socketed. Danger! Danger! The colors are good. The trailer has the classic Generation 1 style striping. And of course inside there is even more detailing, so you can't say that they skimped in that regard. 
So while I do feel cheated that Optimus Prime himself is not leader-sized, I certainly can't complain that they didn't make his trailer section a decent addition. But wait, there's more. For there is also the Optimus Prime figure itself in alt mode. Done up as usual with red, silver, and blue, he feels solid. There is no soft rubber, and though he rattles a bit, he holds together very well. The wheels will roll decently on smooth surfaces, though the plastic tires are a bit thin up at the front. There's no discernible robot kibble to be seen at any angle. It's not even easy to spot the robot parts from underneath. Well done. There's some visible seams near the back of the cab and this big empty space. But for the most part, these seams are well concealed, and there is plenty of sculpted detailing to enjoy. With painted windshield wipers, grill work and headlights, gas tanks off at the side, and even rear tail lights. Some people might say that the smokestacks appear to be a bit stubby, but they're really not that much shorter than they were on the original Optimus Prime figure. There's this hollow space here at the back, but you can fill that with the weapon accessory. And yes, you can flip open the front truck windows and insert the Matrix of Leadership accessory to light your dorkest hour. All in all, a good representation of Generation 1 Optimus Prime in his original truck mode. The alt mode comes with several open Battlemaster ports, so you can arm up Optimus Prime with his own accessories, or plug in other Battlemaster weapons into every open port, and why not? He's a truck. He can carry it. One might think by looking at this figure that the transformation would be identical to Siege Optimus Prime. Those who were worried he might be too samey need not fear. To start, first fold the gas tanks into the sides of the robot thighs. Untab the front wheels from the sides of the semi-truck and fold them outwards. Dig in your fingernails and flip out these third side panels from the front of the truck. With all these panels folded outwards, you must untab the robot legs from the back of the robot arms. When transforming to truck mode, these little tabs at the base of the robot knees will fold and peg into these holes at the back of the robot arms so that when he is a truck, they will hold together. But tilt them forward now, then flip the robot knees backwards to fill in these gaps near the shins, separate the legs, fold out the front and back heel spurs, make sure the robot legs are tilted all the way forwards. This step will be familiar to owners of Generation 1 Optimus Prime. The robot arms fold outwards from the side, and angle outward on these hinges. Rotate the forearm so that the elbows will point forwards. You will notice inside what was the back of the truck, there are these two little thingies that stick downwards. These are Optimus Prime's abs and must be folded outward and clicked into place. When transforming to truck mode, don't forget to fold these back inwards. You're gonna need to rotate the arms up and out of the way, then at the front of the truck, you will need to untab this entire section. It tilts backwards on this hinge, revealing Optimus Prime's non-truck abs. Truck abs, non-truck. Truck abs, non-truck. Give the waist a 180 degree twist. These hinges now fold inside completely and click into place, and then the truck abs untab from underneath the chest. Once they have been untabbed, fold them backwards and completely up and inside the chest. With Optimus Prime's truck front folded out like this, take these flaps which were his side windows, fold them inward and out of the way. Once those have been folded in, take the entire front grill work and untab it. It must then rotate downwards and backwards and hide inside the robot chest completely. So all of those little panels are now stored safely out of the way. But you may notice that you can't rotate the chest back downwards to plug it back into the abs. Not yet. Because once again at the back of the truck, there are things you must do. Pry open this little hatch, then rotate out Optimus Prime's robot head for the dramatic head reveal. Then clamp this section back shut and tab it into place. 
Then you can rotate down the chest and use these tabs and grooves to clamp it in. Once again at the back, take the front bumper, rotate it upwards, and then fold in the tires. Rotate down the arms. Each forearm has an opening panel, which you open up to rotate out the robot fist and reclamp it shut. In robot mode, Earthrise Voyager slash Leader Optimus Prime has all the features that you would expect. The silver vents on the shins, the grill work abs, gas tanks on the thighs, squared robot arms, and that weird helmet with antenna and faceplate. One complaint I have is that the eyes are recessed a bit far and hidden in shadow. You kind of have to shine a bright light in there to see that he even has eyes. And without any light piping, most of the time all you can do is squint and pretend. He is proportioned well, and the detailing is still top-notch. They did a clever job of inverting the flat truck-shaped parts for the alt mode and hiding them inside of Optimus Prime's chest and back. So all that secondary grill work and his headlight codpiece are replaced with engineering that's a bit more functional. The colors and paint are clean and crisp, and he feels quite solid. Without any loose, flappy bits, the truck parts hide well, or at least they don't stick out grossly. Everything seems to be where it ought to be in terms of Optimus Prime's Generation 1 conformity. He even has those weird play buttons on his forearms. He can use his trailer as a surfboard, or you can open up the trailer and use it as either a repair bay or a coffin. You can even plug Optimus Prime into this section and hold him in place while the grabby arms give him the business. You can show off the Matrix of Leadership accessory in his chest cavity, the weapon accessory will store in a side peg on his back. And of course the weapon can be unfolded and held in either hand. Pop loose this section from the ramp of the trailer. And it can be plugged into Optimus Prime's arm as a shield accessory. Remove the robot grabby arms from the back of the trailer. And these can also be plugged into Optimus Prime's back. So he can have an extra set of arms to... Uh, Hold his Energon beer while he's fighting. The shield will attach to either arm, or you can just stick it in the old wear. Because of course there are plenty of open Battlemaster ports for Battlemasters, Micromasters, Titan Masters, Prime Masters, and more. Leader, i.e. Voyager Optimus Prime, boasts superior articulation. The head will rotate 360 degrees and tilt back and forth. Each arm will rotate 360 degrees and hinge outward. Each shoulder will also hinge backward so he can square his shoulders menacingly. The upper bicep will swivel 360 degrees. And the elbow hinge will rotate forwards and backwards 90 degrees. Each fist will also spin 360 degrees in a mushroom peg. And each hand has fingers that will fold outwards. Don't laugh, it's better than you usually get. There is full 360 degree waist rotation, or it would rotate all the way if it weren't for these tires in the back. Each hip will swivel forwards and backwards, at least until it bumps into the tires. There is also a hinge at the side that will allow the leg to kick outwards 90 degrees. They will also swivel at the upper thigh. The knees will bend backwards very far, so he can almost kick himself in the back. Each foot will tilt in and outwards, and you can angle the toes downwards as well as the heel spurs. So there's no shortage of articulation for you to put Optimus Prime into all kinds of heroic poses. Or have him practice for the intergalactic disco. For size comparison, here is Earthrise Voyager leader Optimus Prime, next to Power of the Prime's Evolution Optimus Prime. Here is Earthrise leader Optimus Prime next to Siege Voyager Optimus Prime. Here is leader Earthrise Optimus Prime next to Generation 1 Optimus Prime. And here is Earthrise leader Optimus Prime next to Amazon Prime. It's obvious that the Earthrise crew took all their creative energy and sank it into Optimus Prime as opposed to Megatron. By all accounts, Earthrise Megatron is just a poorly remolded copy of Siege Voyager Megatron, which is still warming shelves in many retail stores with numerous unsold copies. I predict a long and dusty shelf life for Earthrise Megatron. 
but Earthrise Optimus Prime has at least had some tender love and care. Have you been waiting for a decent modern remake of Generation 1 Optimus Prime, but you didn't want to pay truckloads of cash for a masterpiece figure? Then Earthrise Leader Optimus Prime is one that you will want to look into. Positive aspects are vibrant Generation 1 colors and sculpt accuracy with modern updates and Battlemaster compatibility. He has clean paint applications, strong sculpted detailing, and very solid alt and bot modes. The transformation is clever but not overly difficult. His trailer has a number of features to keep it from being just something that you want to kick out of the way to get to the figure. He has good heft, good weapon storage, lots of features, and the discriminating Optimus Prime fan will find little to complain about. Short of wanting him bigger, negative aspects are that this is yet another Optimus Prime figure, and if you are satisfied with the ones you already have clotting your shelves, you may find little to motivate you into buying yet another. There's some hollowness in the alt mode. Little kiddies may find the transformation too advanced, and as with almost all Siege Earthrise figures, I miss the ability to tilt the feet forwards and backwards. Some of the ports are too close to other parts of the body and the truck to effectively hold accessories, but in terms of complaints, these are just minor gripes. And Earthrise leader Optimus Prime well earns 9 out of 10 deaths. Now let's have that Nemesis Prime repaint. If you refuse me, honey, you lose me, then you'll be left alone, old baby. Tell him more, and tell him I'm your own.